Ay, chipa. ¿Qué Are you okay? welcome back to Siki's world how are you all doing um thank you guys so much for stopping by so you guys today uh yeah my daughter miracle she's not feeling well um two days ago she started having fever and um i thought it's something that we can control with uh you know pain reliever which is tylenol i gave her tylenol and she took the tylenol so after uh some days she started no that was around uh two days ago then yesterday she started having a, a yesterday and she started having another fever so and uh, this morning she get it yes let's say hi hi <laughs> Get it, Charlie. Where do you want to go? I'm going downstairs. You're going downstairs? Yes. Okay, I'm going to go ahead. Close the door for me, okay? okay. So, guys, as I was saying, uh, Miracle started having fever two days ago. You know, when your baby starts having fever, it's not something that you rush to the hospital. So, I gave her Tylenol. Then, after the Tylenol, the fever came down. I think that everything is over and okay. So after about eight to nine hours again, the fever came back. I was so much worried. My husband came back. We, uh, you know, give her a shower and use pep, um, towel and warm water, you know, to massage every part of her body. Everything came down again. And in her forehead, I noticed that it was a little bit swollen because of, uh, I don't know why, but I felt like that place is swollen a little bit. So it gave me a lot of concern. So yesterday night, and uh, I was so much worried. I don't want to go to the ER that night. So this morning, I started my morning workout. She was still, she didn't sleep. So when she later slept around 7, around 7 a.m. So I joined a Millicent and I was working out because I was so sad. I was not happy. Like, the only way I can just express myself is just start working out because I don't want to be stressed out over that so i went to take a um no i went to join the workout so but before my husband leave he was with her so my husband was about leaving work he called me to come and stay with her and also called the hospital to see if we can come in for them to do a test i'll see what is going on so i called the hospital and the hospital said that uh, because of her high fever and the way she was breathing that we need to go to the er that they cannot take us to the hospital but i was stressed out i feel like because I've seen what is happening in the ER. I've seen a lot of people that went in, you know, to the ER. They didn't come out. And when you go to the ER, I'm not going to go in with Miracle. They will go. They will just take her from me and um, ask me to stay out. And I'm so scared because I've always wanted to stay with her and see what they are doing, how they handle her. Because uh, everyone is just, you know, scared. Of what is going on so and uh, after the workout I didn't complete the workout because I was really really stressed out so you know I talked to my you know workout buddies I prayed for her my friends we are working out together everyone prayed for her because I was really stressed out I don't know what to do that time but uh, yeah I they prayed for her I believe that God has touched her and also her temperature has come down to 98.5 I hope this doesn't go up again and everything went well I'll just be monitoring her temperature and see how it goes I'll still call the hospital to see if we can go to the hospital because I don't want to go to the ER 
but if there is need for us to go to the er at the end of the day we'll still go but for now we are still here i'm monitoring and watching our temperature i'm done with today's uh, workout i didn't do much because my baby is not feeling well so i'm going to go and take a shower then after that i will you know make food for my kids to eat and also check on miracle and see how she's doing then i will talk to you guys thank you so much for stopping by guys i know my mood is not the, the way it used to be you know when your daughter is sick especially this season like covid is everywhere you don't want to take your child to uh especially you know in an open place where a lot of people are and all that so i don't want to take her to the er i want to go and see her doctor but at the end of the day if they didn't you know allow us to come in we'll still go to er but i believe that everything will be fine with her you see you guys stay with me please do not click out this is not the race the king's word but some days are like this so i'll talk to you guys later okay bye Nurses help them to find the solution fast. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayer. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. For in Jesus' name, we pray. Mm -hmm. Also, pray for you guys. I pray that you will drive safe. I pray that there shall be no accident of any kind along the road. You guys shall go safely and return safely to the glory of your name. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayer. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. For in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Mm -hmm. So guys, good morning. How are you guys doing? Oh, thank you so much. So you guys, the, uh, the time is at 6.30 a.m. I wake up around 5 a.m and uh, miracle is still having a very high fever so um we decided to take her to the hospital which is good for her because for the past three days she has been having fever so yeah i am ready these are the things some of the things i'll be needing i pack a lot of things i don't know whether we are coming back today but i need to pack extra things in case if you are not coming back today so yeah you guys let me start uh, going so that we'll be able to get to the hospital uh, as soon as possible so yeah Let's go. Let's see what they are going to say. And uh, I'm really tired and stressed out. But I have to go to the hospital to know exactly what is wrong with her. Okay, I will talk to you guys uh, when I get to the hospital. So guys, they have uh, admitted us in the hospital and uh, look at Miracle, she's just sleeping. So they took her vital signs and took some... Um, the doctor asked me some questions and I uh, answered and you know. So they will be sending her for scan and MRI. So yeah, we took some vital sign in the outside before they brought us inside it. 
so we'll be staying here for some time maybe after the MRI or or the scan then I'll tell you guys the next thing to do so she's now sleeping peacefully I'm so happy that she was able to catch some sleep because she didn't sleep last night and um, even me I didn't sleep when I was driving I was feeling sleepy but I'm so glad that we made it here they didn't take us to the other side for COVID testing so I think it's a, it doesn't have anything to do with COVID-19. I think maybe she might be having an infection or any bacteria or virus. So yeah, um, we will do some more further testing, scan and MRI to check her head because of the shock she has in her head. And yeah, so yeah, that's it. So I'm here beside her waiting for them to come and take us to the uh, room for scan and uh, yeah. I will talk to you guys uh, later. Let me just stay by her side and uh, watch her as usual. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I will see you guys soon. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, miracle. They did a blood work for her. They took some. Uh, they did a blood draw, and they put this in her hand. She's still um weak. Just relaxing. Miracle. Hey miracle. Hey miracle. <laughs> She doesn't even want to talk to me. So you guys, look at it. They did some blood work. They did a test for COVID because they really want to find out exactly what is wrong. Why is she having this high fever? They want to do blood work and find out exactly what is going on with her, whether we're going to stay in the hospital, whether we're going to be staying or we're going to be living. Because they said that if we are going to stay in the hospital, are going to be doing a test for COVID-19 for her which they have already uh, swapped her and then we are waiting for the result you guys this is gonna take time oh my goodness <sighs> I just pray everything is well everything will go well with her I'm really really scared and uh, stressed out okay I'm feeling sleepy I am hungry I am stressed out oh my god please say hi Say hi. <laughs> she don't even want to talk, but you guys, we are still here, and uh, I'll talk to you. So guys, we're getting ready to go home. I'm, uh, I'm putting miracle shoes. The doctor have cleared us to start going home. They said everything looks good. I don't know why she's having fever. Maybe she's titty. I don't know. But whatever it is, it's not something to be so much worried about. Maybe she has a virus that don't move about. So yeah.
so you guys i'm in the last building or in the last floor of this hospital let me just show you how the hospital is the hospital is really big look at the hospital the children's hospital is really big and this is the last floor of the parking lot it's so so big so i'm here to show you guys something that i saw in this hospital when we came in when we just came in they took vital signs everyone is a suspect immediately you come in everybody's a suspect they will give you a yellow band no, a pink band you are a suspect then they will take some um, vital signs and ask you some questions symptoms of COVID-19 if you have the symptom of COVID-19 they can do you a test so let me show you guys this is their critical stand it shows you that there are people that have COVID-19 in that uh, you see that that uh, white uh, stand this is where the COVID patient is and this is I was so scared when we came in are we going to be tested positive and all that so I came to this place to show you guys this is the hospital this is it there is nobody in the emergency like you won't even come inside the emergency because everyone is trying to be careful and all that so I came just to this place to show you the critical stand where you see this place this is where COVID patient is inside that place people are really sick so just make sure that you stay safe out there make sure that you take care of yourself make sure that you maintain social distancing wash your hand this covid is real this uh virus is so real so protect yourself and protect your family and then you'll be glad you did i don't know whether you can see my face but but nevertheless yeah you guys so i will start going this is a very big parking lot in this building this is the the sixth floor as you can see this is the sixth floor and this is the hospital so i'll start going home i'll talk to you guys when i get to the house and this is miracle <laughs> hi miracle let me show you hey hey you're happy to go home right i'm so so excited and also hungry so i'm gonna put back pack my mask and go and look for my car then we'll start going home then when i get back to the house i'll talk to you guys everything they said that is happening to miracle okay stay with me do not go anywhere